Hi, I'm Elizabeth along with Story, the St. Francis service dog in training. And we're here to tell you a little bit about what's new at the Radford Public Library. And what's new in books is this new adult fiction. The title is Dark Horses. It's written by Susan McCulloch, sorry, Mahalik, and it just came out recently. And I've just finished reading it. It's a really tough, disturbing read which has gotten a lot of praise from uh, resources like um, Publishers Weekly and Kirkus and Lit Hub. So lots of good reviews on this book. It's just a very tough read. And I do have some comparisons of similar books that are behind me. These are books that are referenced inside the jacket of this title. So some similar reads are this one, which is D.C. Andrews' book, Flowers in the Attic. This has been around for a long time, so you may recognize this title. And this one, which is My Dark Vanessa, it's gotten so much buzz and also a lot of um, positive reviews, a lot of praise. This is written by Kate Elizabeth Russell. And another one, which is My Absolute Darling, written by Gabrielle Talent. So these are all books that are referenced in the book jacket of dark horses. They're similar in theme and that overarching theme is that there is a young teenage girl who is suffering abuse at the hands of someone much older and in a trusted position. And in the dark horses book, that is the main character's father. So the main character is named Roan Montgomery. Roan is a 15 year old girl who's very privileged in many ways. She attends a wonderful private school she lives on a beautiful farm in a wonderful house. She has her own horses and she competes in, um, in riding. And so she's often away eventing with her father. And her father, who is a medalist in horseback riding, is an Olympic medalist, is teaching his daughter about riding. And he's very abusive as well as uh, her mother, who's an addict and whenever she's even present She's a very cruel source. So even though on the surface, uh, this, this main character, Roan, looks like she has an idyllic life, she really doesn't. She's not happy in school, she's not happy at home, but what she does love are her horses. And her horses become a source of um, kind of being stuck in the situation that she's in because it's what her father can hold against her. It's what he knows that she cherishes. So some reviews I want to share with you. Publishers Weekly calls this a taut, embracing debut, also a powerhouse. Carcass calls this a searing examination of love and lust, power and control, as the narrator's rising sense of self yearns to take the reins. And the uh, comparisons um, to the books behind me um, are because they really all are a compelling explorations of female strength. Another book comparison that I don't have on display is Room by Emma Donahue. And if you've read that or seen the movie, you know that it's a really tough thing to view or read, but that it's also empowering in many ways. So I did read an interview with this author, Susan Mahalik, uh, an NPR interview in which she said, that in writing this book, she quote, wanted to take people to a world where the daughter, Roan, is powerless against her father. She thinks she's powerless, she believes it, and he leads her to believe that she's complicit in the abuse. So based on even that quote uh, from the author, you can tell this is a tough read, but it also has, again, rave reviews. So it depends on what you're up for. I would say that if you love horses, love riding, you might really enjoy this, but there are also some really tough scenes with the horses as they're used as leverage in continuing the abuse, um, tolerating the abuse from her father. So be forewarned, but also be aware that this has great praise if you're interested in giving it a try. Again, the title is Dark Horses. It's a novel by Susan Mahalik, and we do have it here at the Radford Public Library. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and well. We hope to see you soon here at the library.